Hi guys, welcome to God Nod. I know it's been a while since I posted. I've been sick for about a month, so that is why I haven't posted a video in a while and why I've been kind of distant from social media and everything. But I'm back now and I'm getting better. Praise the Lord. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a happy new year. This is exciting I'm recording right now. It is the first of January. It's so weird to think that it's 2020 already. I remember like in grade school thinking 2020 is the year I'm gonna graduate college and here we are I got one semester left and here it is like 2020 it's crazy anyway today I felt called to make a video about living in the present moment I think this is something that's going to be big for me for this year for my New Year's resolution is to just try to live in the present moment how this has kind of come up in my prayer life well, it all kind of started with being sick. You know, I came home from college on break and I was just really sick and my parents were at work and the rest of my family was at school. And so I was just kind of home alone, sick, not having the energy to do anything, just sitting there, not like, just like so bored, but yet not wanting to do anything. And it was just like, gosh, what is this? Like, I feel so just useless right now. And it was just like a disgusting feeling. And I'm just like, I just wish I was better. I wish I was somewhere warm. I wish this, this, and this. And I was just complaining. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, this is not how I'm supposed to be living. This is not how I'm supposed to be viewing life. And so this is how, like I brought this up to Jesus. And this is how living in the present moment has really come up is through my sickness, basically. I'm sure every single one of you watching can relate to me in some way of being in a situation. Maybe you were sick, maybe you were distant from a loved one, maybe, I don't know. But you you guys have all wished for something else or to be somewhere else or for something else to be changed or for something to be different. And that's like just life, right? Like we all go through that. But what I wanna challenge to you and what I'm trying to challenge myself for 2020 is to not do that, is to choose to live in the moment, to say yes to the moment. When I'm in that situation, to say, yes, I choose this Lord because you have allowed me to be in this situation and I'm going to trust that there's a reason why I am exactly right here in this moment right now. Now, we might not know the reason why the Lord allows us to be in certain situations at certain times, you know, but that's okay. As long as we choose to trust that He has our good in mind and that there is a reason and that He's going to bring good out of whatever He's allowing, He will bless us and He will bring us to that happiness. When I think about happiness, like we all want to be happy. Like what brings happiness? Well, I think, I think a lot of people would agree that a sense of purpose, you know, having a purpose in life brings happiness. You know, when I was just like sitting on the couch feeling so lonely and just not knowing what to do and just so bored and just like meh kind of feeling. I was just like, I just feel like I have no purpose right now. Like there's no one to talk to. I'm just sitting here. I'm just wasting my life away. Like there's just no purpose. And like that brought me sadness. But when I start diving after scripture and I start praying and the Lord reminds me of my purpose up here, it ignites this fire within me. And that is what brings me joy. And so when we live a life of purpose, we just naturally are happy and so that's another thing that I think that will come about if we choose to live in the present you know there are so many saints that have quoted that the secret to happiness is to live in the present moment if we can figure out how to live in the present we will find true happiness and I really think I have something going on there because if we are able to say yes to every single situation no matter if it's getting in trouble or, you know, getting a speeding ticket or whatever it might be, if we're able to say, okay, yes, I accept this. I accept this as your will. I'm going to choose to be sanctified. I really believe that, that God can make us into saints and that we can find happiness in whatever situation that we are in and to, to choose joy. Another thing that I've kind of thought about is, so I've been like visiting people here and there and since I was like kind of sick, like I just have not a lot of energy, right? And it's hard to sometimes love people, you know, if people are just talking and talking and talking and you're just like, 
I, I'm tired and I just want to go to bed, but like you know they want you to listen to them, so you're like, okay, I'm going to choose to love this person and listen to them with all I have. And I'm going to respond to them and I'm going to continue this conversation with them. Or like, just those tiny little things of love. But you know what? After I got home, I thought, you know what? Like, I wish I loved better. No matter the excuses, no matter how tired, no matter how crabby, no matter like what it was, I wish I loved better because in that moment I was there and I was wishing to be somewhere else. How much more glorious, how much more glory would I bring to God if I were able to say yes in that moment, say yes to that situation and truly love the person in front of me. So that is my challenge to you guys, to choose to live in the present moment wherever you are and to trust that God has you there for a reason and to trust that it's good. Okay, now you're like, okay, so what, how do I do that? Well, first thing that comes to mind is don't complain. Complaining really just takes a toll on the mind and just like brings you down. So don't complain. Next time you catch yourself complaining, be like, nope, tossing it out, say a little prayer and try not to complain. Don't complain. Second thing, pray to see everything as a gift from God. Every little thing. That's super hard. Every thing from God. Not just the good, but the bad too. See everything as a gift from God and accept it as His will. Another thing, just say yes to every moment. Say yes. No matter what happens, yes Lord, I choose this. I choose to be here. Another thing with living in the present moment is being mindful that you are in the presence of people. When there's someone in front of you, see Jesus in them. See that Jesus is right in front of you and you have a chance to love him. Are you going to be on your phone? Are you going to be scrolling, scrolling through social media or texting other people? No, you will be talking to him. You will be loving him. And so maybe putting your phone away more or fasting from social media in public or whatever that might mean to be able to live more fully present and to love people in front of you. So those are just my thoughts that I felt that were on my heart that God was putting on my heart to live out in my 2020, but also just to share with you, to challenge you guys, because you know, we're all, we're all here to strive to be saints, to be with God, to be holy. And so I really hope you guys have had a great Christmas and I wish you the best for this year of 2020. And I am praying for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel and God bless.